good day, good day. And how you go and just say good day, good day, good day, and you'll be right. Good day. Welcome to the bush shed. I'm Ben, as you know. I'm out here in the old bush shed, and we're making what's called a stick chair. One of these. They look all right, don't they? Well, down below, all right, I'm going to make sure you like and subscribe and have a look at the last videos as well, too. Mm, I'll get shot here if you are not. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to make one because I thought, geez, they're bloody looking good, aren't they? And I sat in one, and I think, they're bloody comfy. So I thought I'd give it a burl. So what you need, and I'm not going to, as you can see, I've got pieces of timber here, and I'm not going to show you how to cut it up. People, you know how to cut a 2x4, alright? All it is is a 2x4 cut in half, alright? So you get two, two 1x1s basically, metric 1x1s, so it's about one and a half by one and a quarter, something like that. Anyway, once you've got them all cut, you need to cut them into size. Alright, you ready? Alright, you need six at 15 inches, or 380 mil approximately. Two at 35 inches, which is 890 mil approximately. Then you've got four at 31 and a half inches, which is approximately 800 mil. 29, uh, two, oh, not 29, two, 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 check one, two, two at 29 and three quarter inches, which is 755 approximately. And then you need another two at 42 inches, which are the big ones, little legs at the back. And that's about one meter and 66, so 1,066. And then we've got another nine of them at nine and one eighth inch, which is approximately 230 mil. All right, that's all the way on the bench there. Check it out. All right, look at that. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure in, get the holes drilled. Now the holes, all right, they measure in from the outside to the edge. At one of them is 12 inches from the, from here to here, 12 inches, and then one and a half inches in. Now, have a look down the bottom, and you'll see the, um, the measurements for that. All right, so you've got 12 inches in, you make a hole, and then one and a half inches in, make another hole. All right, now, they go through with, um, with well, I think, A, B, C, D, and E. Um, and then F is completely different, so you need to bring those in. F comes in at a quarter of inch on each end, which is these... These are EFs, all right? And they come in at a quarter inch here on each end, all right? Now, let's get stuck into it. We've got a lot of holes to drill. <laughs> We've got them all done. About bloody time, too. Tell you what. 32 holes, 10 mil. Let's hope we get that together. All right, so we've got them all together now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the old router out. I'm gonna route over the edges, make them all round the same as each other. Let's give that a go, eh? Hey, all right. Doing all that by hand. Gives a crap in the old hand, especially when you've got rheumatoid. Good old rheumatoid arthritis, don't you just love it? Chicka boom. Right, what we're going to do now is try and set it all up, see if we can uh, get it bolted together. Hmm, <laughs> bloody ripper, mate. All right, let's try that, eh? Let's get it on. I've got to set it out in a fashion so that we can put it together properly. And then I've got to get me uh, big threaded rods. There you go. 10 mil threaded rods I'm using. I think they're probably a bit too big, but who cares? They're the only ones I've got on hand at the moment. And um, what I'm going to do is set them all out so I know the top and bottom and hope for the best from there. <laughs> Let's crack on with it and um, set them all up and uh, get the rods through. Now I've got to um, go by my diagram. Oh. Let's hope I don't stuff it up. <laughs> All right, let's get in there. Got to make sure, sure the whole orientations are correct. <laughs> I think I didn't write down. Oh, I'll figure it out. There we go. See? It's half and done. All right. <clears throat> All right. 
Here comes a fungi. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is going to be interesting, as more say the word. I think we're done. Well, we're not done, but she's put together. Let's give it a whirl, eh? Oh, let's give it a bit of a whirl. Fingers crossed. We've got my shed cat in here now. Alright. Come off. Oh, look at that! <laughs> what a bloody ripper! What happens here is they get all pulled together. And they get pulled together and it makes a, a unique looking top. So have a look at doing that. I need one of Izzy Swan's uh, threaded shaft spanners. I really do. Go to IzzySwan.com and uh, have a look. He's got uh, something that literally is a spanner, connects up to your drill, and it goes on any nut, and well, use a socket like that, put it on, and literally, and whack, boom, 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 boom. And it's off to the side here and just goes through it. <laughs> Bloody awesome. There you go. All folded up. A few tweaks here and there I've got to do. I'll bring the top in. And um, might have to pull the front bits out of here. So that I can basically get an angle happening on them. So I need an angle like that. Once I do that, I think I should be fine. Yeah. The bigger the holes, the better, I think. <laughs> so... I think I'll just pull them, pull it apart, put a bigger holes in it. It should be all right. And uh, I'll come back when I've all, when I've done all that. You don't need to see all that because you've already seen the concept. Let's get into that, and I'll be back in a minute. All right. Oh, g'day guys. Sorry, having a bit of a rest. Tell you what, it's a bit of a chore. I now know that if I'm going to use 10 mil, don't do it. Unless I put two inch spaces in here and two inch spaces on the bottom. That way it'll be a square chair. But until then, um, I reckon probably four mil threaded right or six mil at the biggest. Something that'll bend easily um, because this 10 mil is not, <laughs> not bending too well. What I ended up having to do is having to bend the rod a little bit as I was putting it together. But anyway, we're done, and I'll tell you, it's bloody comfy. Let's have a look at it. Oh, I'll tell you, my back's killing me. Ugh. There you go. What do you reckon? Kentucky stick chair. There you go. See? Absolutely brilliant. Now it does fold up, it's a bit tight. Oi. Fold up. Like that. What do you think? I think it's friggin' brilliant. Anyway, <coughs> I'm not going to lack of this. This is how it's going to stay. Because it's going to have a bum wearing on it all the time, so it's going to wear off anyway, and it's going to make itself look a little bit more worn and worn over the years go by. I'll put all the measurements and everything down there as well, on the bottom. And um, like I said, at the end, I'll take some photos, put them up at the end of the old video. So until then, thanks for coming to the bush shed. And of course, don't forget, pop along to me bush shed at Facebook. So facebook.com forward slash the bush shed. Photos will be up of that as well. Oh, as you can see me bush, bush shed, gatsy. Hello. Hey, poop, 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 poop. Hello, darling. <laughs> She's saying her too. So take care. See you next time. Bye for now. To be an Aussie whenever you're stuck. For what to say If you want to be dinky die Why don't you give it a try Look him right in the eye